Alright, thanks for joining me for another episode. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I posted. That's been a major oopsie on my part with my goal of trying to post every day. Um, yeah, it's a big problem. Uh, so I'll bring you all up to speed on some interesting things going on. Um, so it's Monday. Back at work. Uh, the analysis problems pretty interesting worked pretty late on it Friday got some interesting results not positive but it's nice to see um, you know another means of approximating the problem come home I tried out a new technique and with a new model and that worked out so today I'm trying to expand that a little further to give me some more information in other news, I got a new pair of shoes, and I will be uh, putting together a little bit of a, re a review on those. Um, this is my third pair of shoes from this company, uh, Lems. I got their Mariner shoes, I don't know, five years ago, and then their 9 to 5 three years ago, and then I got another pair of Mariners, because I liked them so much. They're basically boat shoes. Leather minimalist, which I really like, so that's going to be um, flat sold, no heel, no heel raise, and um, pretty wide in the forefoot, which I have wide feet, and so that keeps my feet comfortable and flat. Um, so I want to do a review of those, because I really like them, and we'll compare them to the old shoes and look at some of the differences. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, also, some pretty good progress on my side programming projects, um, learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Uh, I didn't get act that much actual coding time in this weekend, but I think in terms of putting together bits of the puzzle, what languages get used where and how. Um, that really, uh, I really made some progress there. Um, basically, what uh, instigated that progress was finding a problem that someone asked to have solved on um, Upwork. So someone wanted to have a program that would um, graph GPAs of students by various parameters. And so I thought, well, that's kind of an interesting case for me to uh, use as a case study, just to try to um, learn some simple coding elements and put together a user interface that should be pretty simple and straightforward. So, uh, so I'm working on that right now. I've found a couple of Java libraries um, to help read CSV data, and then another library to help plot it. Uh, I'm going to need to figure out how to deal with like a, something like a local database. I don't want to have it go up to a server or have to install special software. So. Not quite. I need to figure out how to handle that. Um, what else? What else? Oh, we had snow. So that made it cold. You can see I'm wearing my warm jacket. I was hoping to make it through the winter without having to wear pull out this heavy jacket. Last winter I managed to do that, but uh, <clears throat> I don't know. It's just feeling cold. Um, don't really feel like suffering just to <laughs> just to try to make it through the winter on a principle. Um, and oh, I am listening to um, "Black Swan" by Nassim Taleb. Um, I really enjoyed "Anti Fragile" when I read it. Uh, I think I listened to the audiobook and then purchased the book, and. Um, I really enjoyed it. That was the, well, being his fourth book, I think. Um, 
he said that was kind of a summary book of his three previous ones. So I really enjoyed that, and um, I just found him on Twitter recently and started following him and noticed that he has a new book coming out this month. may have already come out at this point. And I thought, well, I've got a bunch of Audible credits I need to use up, so I will purchase some of his old books and listen to them and see what happens so can look for a review of that book anyway um, those are kind of the big things that I have going on right now uh, I need to get out a couple more episodes just to try to make up for missing the past few days so uh, sorry for boring you for six minutes um, just stay tuned for something else interesting in the near future. <laughs> anyway, talk to you next time.